What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back with another Ademco video. This is part 12, or I mean, this is part 11.5. This is a half because this is going to be a quick video of changing the passcode on the system. And the old passcode is 2020. Let's go ahead and disarm the system. Um, battery still has not arrived. The battery arrives April 28th, and it's only March 12th today, so there's still a whole entire month left. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So we put in the old code, plus 8, then 2, and then put in the new code twice, and the keypad beeped. Let's go ahead and test this. Oh, it still works. Does the new one work? What? I just programmed two codes. Hold on. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay, let me try the new one. All right, I changed the code. So as you can see, the code is now changed. We're gonna try and arm the system. Well, it's still, it still arms for some reason. I'm guessing it's on some kind of delay. Cause see if I put in my new code and arm the system, it also arms it, but I cannot disarm it. Yeah, I cannot disarm. I have to put in the new code. And now it disarms. Maybe it even does this again. No, it doesn't. Okay. The way this keypad is designed, the way this keypad is designed and the condition it's in, it's really horrible. And like this thing is just messed up. So I'm just gonna go use the other one because this thing is just like out of here. So still have the other 6128 over here. The one in newer condition. Reset. All right, so 2020, eight, two, put in my new code. And it just chimes, or I mean beeps, but you have to put it in twice, but it just goes in one for some reason. Okay, then you know what? I'll just, I'll just sit. I'll just sit for a while. And then after a while, I'll come back and see if the 2020 code will still be on. I forgot to close the door. I'm not gonna test it because it's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So yeah, my neighbors already know what's going on with the stuff. I'm not sure about my neighbors 10 SE. I mean, their system is set up in the same way that's similar to mine. But I don't know, like, I think they have chime turned on or something. Their door contact looks yellow, the back door one. Because the old neighbors used to have this door opened up all the time during the summer. And so that door contact turned yellow. And the way their, the way their keypad is mounted, it's, it's like down here. The keypad is like down here instead of up here. I mean, I don't know. There, There's just something wrong with this. I'm not sure why it won't close. But yeah, see, the way this keypad is mounted over here, as you can see, it's like falling off the, off the wall. There's paint on top of it. See, there's paint. There's more paint down here. Um, this, this looks worn down. Somebody's been opening this up a lot. Definitely not us. So the last owners must have used this the system a lot. But why did they why why did the contacts not work? Man, it would be interesting what the last neighbors have done with this home security thing before they moved out. 
I mean, there's a reason why every single window contact doesn't work. Literally, there's only one initiating device in the system, and that is the front door, the central contact right in there. It's also really cold in here. There's like cold air bleeding through, and the motion detector doesn't even work. What is going on? Like... This keypad doesn't even, this keypad didn't work when I first turned the system on because somebody unplugged a wire. Oh, and the 747, it, it's still in there. The 747, it's still in there. Also, I'm gonna try to get fire and I'm still looking out for a new keypad. It's probably gonna be a Honeywell one because I think the 6138, I think the Ademco Alpha keypad the one that has like black right here and there's like this big screen and then the arm slash ready leds are down here right here i i don't know I, I i think it has a four pin connector like instead of having let me open up this keypad to show you as you can see oh my god it's so cold down there as you can see there's screw in terminals and also the piezo still has the piece of tape on it. I still have not removed it. I'm probably gonna keep it on for a while. There's also like four different kinds of screws. You can see they screwed it in right here. They're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do this right here. Nobody does this. Nobody does this. What is this? Really? Who installed this? It just comes right out. They didn't even install it properly. Who designed this thing? They didn't even mount it on the support beam. They completely just screwed it in. No, this is not acceptable. And then they cut off these wires over here. That's okay. Because those aren't being used. But see, they're screwing. And then the 6138 has a connector. So, yeah. I don't know why it, why that's what it has. That's not my business. That's old Honeywell stuff. My cat's looking out the window. In in April when in April when the new battery arrives and it's gonna be a bit warmer outside, I'm gonna start diagnosing window contacts. We're not done with the system. At least, at least as long as at least one window contact works. Let me test the code one more time. Still works. I, I don't know what the... Uh, yeah, like this keypad. It's like a broken simplex pool station. Also, I have some good news. But since this video is going way too long, and this is a half test, or I mean a half video, I'm not going to be able to show it to you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.